insane aoe damage look at all the projectiles three rockets per rocket launcher and we got the gatling laser let's go oh man the legendary weapon good morning good evening and of course good afternoon today we're gonna be breaking open d5 and clearing through with the renegade character one of the more interesting ones in the new patch uh, of all these starting weapons i do think smg is the most effective at least initially so i have one question for everybody what did that sitting bull, Tom Payne, Dr. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X all have in common? Well, they're all renegades, renegades of their time and age. That's right. That is a throwback to the wonderful song Renegades of Funk by Rage Against the Machines. If you have not heard it, I highly do encourage you, encourage you uh, to give it a listen. It is a very a good song and one that I do think is relatively appropriate here. Uh, early on, we are re-rolling for a couple of SMGs. I think SMGs are very, very strong on this character at least starting on as are things like minigun because they work really really well with the character's mechanics conversely i think low fire rate weapons like the laser gun as well as weapons that already have like uh, projectiles such as shotguns or tasers as you upgrade them are conversely much much weaker we will of course be doing a doing a deep dive in all of renegade's mechanics as we proceed throughout the run really do like a touch of range damage uh, and i'm really looking to get some more weapons before i start worrying about too many items but those will in fact, be part of our strategy, I promise you. Um, don't love taking a pistol, but again, I do want to get six weapons online as soon as possible. I do find this character tends to be somewhat starved for money just a little bit, so I do not mind picking up a little bit of harvesting here at the beginning. In addition, this character does have a soft sort of entrance into harvesting with the fact that you want to pick up pretty much every white item you see. Now, this character notably has the really crazy mechanic where every single weapon fires two additional projectiles, a very, very strong mechanic indeed. Take a touch of attack speed there. I'm looking for range, but I'm happy that we uh, do in fact find that. We'll go ahead and take a gentle alien as I am trying to get that online, as well as a tree, some good white items. Now, I think everybody, when they saw the new beta branch, kind of mouse over the new characters and said, wow, Renegades, I got to check this character out. How the heck does this character work? Well, after quite a bit of testing, I can say this character is very powerful, but it takes a little bit to get there. This character is not immediately super strong. This character also struggles a bit against elites and bosses, but boy howdy, this character is absolutely a hoss at taking out elites, horde waves, huge amounts of enemies. So that is where this character really, really shines. Um, but the accuracy penalty really, really, really hurts this character on elites and bosses. Uh, there is no sugar coating that. Take a touch of harvesting. If you like the treat and happy to get these SMGs built out. So now let's quickly review Renegade's mechanics. Two projectiles, as we're talking about. 10% damage for every different tier one or what item we have. You can't use melee weapons because that would just break uh, accuracy penalty. Minus 400% damage and all damage modifications are reduced by 80%, which essentially means you start with negative 80% damage. So the way this character is meant to be played is by essentially amassing every white item you can, uh, as every single white item will reduce our damage penalty by 2%. So we really want to get this character uh, to a point where we essentially have that damage penalty to a much more manageable like five to ten percent by the end of the wave and if we are able to do that we have a powerful character indeed so as you run it through this game we will be picking up essentially every white item that doesn't actively hurt our build if they do actively hurt our build we'll still think about it so really really happy there to get a weird ghost nice and early again really good white item there uh, that's going to just give us a little bit of survivability but yeah we're going to be taking things like engineering books or things that don't really uh, help us so you know we're going to be taking all white items but you can see our single target damage at the start is really really bad even though our area clear is quite good it took us quite a bit of time to take out that looter uh, there for free like a boxing glove and again things like duct tape we're happy to take uh as they give us a small advantage and again help reduce that damage penalty um we'll take a touch of armor again i don't really think shotguns are great for this build like a hedgehog, again, a unique item. A propeller, this 2% damage is a wash. Uh, actually gave us one there, so we'll take that. And I will actually dunk this pistol and grab an SMG. We'll go ahead and take a toxic sludge. Again, doing everything we can to amass essentially every white item. So now let's quickly talk about weapon choices on this character. Um, the way this character works is here, every single weapon you have gets plus two projectiles. This means this character is a lot stronger with weapons that only have one because these weapons are essentially becoming three times as powerful with that mechanic. 
Um, so things like shotguns, which might be like, hey, those use multiple projectiles, they must be good. They're actually not as good, right? Because shotguns already start with four shots and bringing them up to six isn't nearly as good as taking something like an SMG and bringing those up to three. The SMGs become three times as strong. The SMGs, or sorry, the shotguns simply 150% times as strong. So that's sort of my thinking on it. I do think it's be relatively accurate. Um, also weapons with a huge base damage, but slow, uh, slow attack speed, like laser gun, the damage is reduced, reduced enough in the beginning where they can actually heal things in one shot. So, you know, again, you're going to be really relying on frequency of shots here um, to get your damage to where you want it uh, to be. This character needs a lot of rerollings. We'll go ahead and unlock that dangerous bunny. So I do think high fire rate um, weapons that focus on one projectile are best on this character. So things like SMGs are quite good. Uh, minigun is obviously very, very powerful. Um, I think shredders are good as well, uh, simply because they fire multiple projectiles, each one can pierce, and each one can explode individually. Things like nuclear launchers are really good on Renegade because instead of one giant boom, we have three, even if they often hit the same spot. So there's a lot of kind of interesting uh, weapons you can think about here. That said, the accuracy penalty is very, very severe on this character, and we'll talk a little bit more about that, how that works next wave, as that'll be a good, pardon me, wave to demonstrate it just a little bit more, but the accuracy penalty is pretty significant on this character. Uh, and I do think is a substantial disadvantage. One that we can work around, but I think we already took a Toxic Sludge. Get a touch of harvesting here and really getting good range damage. Uh, we'll go ahead and move to a 4-2 uh, SMG Shredder split. We'll take that Dangerous Bunny and I will take that Peaceful Bee as we do not have one. We do have a Lost Duck, so I'll pass on that for now. And again, we're going to be taking things like Landmines, uh, just every sort of unique item we can see that is white. Uh, and this uh, Dynamite is not only a white item that we do not have, but it will work with our Shredder. So very, very good. Now, the way the accuracy in this game, uh, this character works, is kind of hard to sort of suss out. There are no other characters in Brotato that really make mention of accuracy. You know, it's not something that, like, you're going to really think about in a normal character. And I don't know exactly how it works, but, like, after kind of messing around with it, I do think the way it works is essentially only half your shots fire towards your target. The other half miss. So only half of this character, we can kind of see, I'm trying to kind of get a bruiser isolated there. So you can kind of see uh, how I try to, like, line up next to this bruiser. And, like, here's a good example. You see only half the shots are actually going towards the target. The other half of the shots like miss. So they go either left or right of the target. When you're dealing with a huge swarm of enemies, that's not a huge penalty. I mean, you just basically hit the enemies next to the ones you're trying to hit. But on bosses and elites, it's a pretty substantial penalty and it does reduce this character's clear speed on bosses and elites quite significantly. But again, with the piercing and sort of the massive projectile amounts, uh, it makes up for it in terms of overall wave clear. Sure, for free, I'll take an incendiary turret. Do like a little bit of harvesting again like that dynamite uh we do not have a turret yet so i will buy it again just getting that percent damage penalty a uh, reduced do like a shredder and again um not sure if we'll take the goat skull yet because it will uh will actively hurt us at this point uh, again do like this and do like this all things we do not have yet and with that armor i do think a sunglasses is good so we'll go ahead and hang onto all of those items this character is a very and i mean very snowbally character and yes i'm still talking about the character's mechanics because there's a lot of mechanics on this character and uh, I think that will continue to be discussed as this character I think is going to get a lot of attention rightfully so I think as soon as this patch came out right like everybody was looking at these characters and like Renegade was the one that's like what the heck is going on I want to get my hands on this character so I think this character is going to command a lot of playthrough a lot of testing a lot of weird ways that we can back break this character so uh definitely the one of the ones I was excited to dive into into is I sure I'm sure you were as well, but it was. we can see there's a lot to cover and we still haven't even hit uh, anything on everything on this character. Um, there's just so much to digest. So many mechanics at play at once here. I do think it is a fun character. I think it's a relatively powerful character, but it does present its fair share of challenges. So uh, I think the way to sum up this character is buy all the white items you can, take weapons that really benefit from the extra projectiles and try to get just a little bit ahead by the time you get to those bosses. Uh, because you will need some sort of extra oomph to have an easy time taking them out. You truly will. Uh, like a lens, like a bag, again, both white items we do not have yet. And here we see the fairy. Uh, a very powerful item, a very powerful item on this character, and an item which is unlocked on this character. But yes, this character is very much a snowball character, right? Uh, I think starts off relatively weak, as for the first five or six waves, your weapons are only going to hit for one. Like, they only hit for one damage because that huge uh, damage penalty. But once we're able to kind of get that working reverse, it does become a little bit more powerful and absolutely demolishes um, all the horde waves in the game. So very, very powerful on that. But again, a little bit weaker on um, 
you know, on the elites and bosses. So uh, well, we're not gonna get like an insanely fast elite kill. Uh, we do usually have a good time keeping everything around the elite clear. So we're off to, I'd say a solid start here. Range damage is at 11, which is not particularly bad. But again, the key with this character is getting all those white items nice and early so we can get rid of that huge, huge, not get rid, but ameliorate. There's your SAT word for the day. So we can ameliorate that crazy damage penalty and go ahead and crack this character open, which is very much in a good position to be. And see if we can go ahead and take this. We are able to take the out. Huzzah. Um, do like a banner for free. Um, no wisdom for us. And uh, sure, for free, I'll take a little frog. Don't really need any of these. I guess I'll take the range damage. I guess I'll take the dodge, even though I don't really love it. But fairy, uh, very, very powerful character slam. This is the enemy you get from getting with Renegade if you are struggling. Beat Renegade and get it here. Fairy is a new enemy game, giving you one HP regen for every different white item, every different tier one item you have. So you see in a situation like this, we get 20 HP regen uh, from that one item, which is very, very good. Even at uh, Epic here, um, tier three, I don't think double barrel shotguns are just not good in this character. Again, not quite as, as powerful. I will take a charcoal and I do not believe we have an injection yet. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. Don't have a good combine here for a shredder and I don't really want to go to three and three. Like going berserker, like a snake, we'll take that recycling machine. Don't have a plant yet. Uh, so we're buying pretty much everything we can. We'll go ahead and grab uh, a rocket launcher, which will be a nice fun weapon. Um, ritual you know, is not going to do a whole lot. So again, you can see with all these things we're buying, we're already at negative 28% damage, which is kind of a fun thing to say. We're already up to negative 28% damage, just buying every single white item we can. So off to a good start here. Other than the fact we are still very, very slow and we do not have any max HP. We are going into a wave 12 elite in this character. Uh, does not like elites very much, <laughs> uh, to say the least. So we will see how that goes. But yeah, a lot of fun things you can do with this character. Uh, and for me, I like channeling my inner renegade, right? Like he's got a little punk, punk, uh, punk mohawk here. It's like neon. That's kind of cool, right? Like has a neon mohawk. And I think it's a renegade because they just like take every item in the game. Like that's a renegade. I guess that's what renegades do, right? They just take all the items. I guess that's what I would do. If I was a renegade, like, hey, it's a white item. I'll take it. Blue items? Nah, give me white. Uh, and yeah, every white item that we take makes us just a little bit more stronger. We can see lots of projectiles, but our weapons are still only hitting for like 12, right? Which is very, very low for this point in the game. So we really have to uh, rely on the fact we do have three of them. So we shall see. Really do like that speed, thankfully. We are going into a wave 12 elite with a relatively, I'd say, mid build, truthfully. So we're not like super, super strong here. Uh, this shredder will help. Um, even with our crit chance um, being something I am valuing this run, our max HP is so, so low that I am actually pretty happy with that metal um, and do like that percent damage. Maybe can take the goat skull, but we'll see if we survive this elite. We are playing uh, an elite that is very much familiar to all of us here at the Butcher, so not one of the new elites. But you can see, even with all these projectiles, our kill speed is just slow, right? And that's the big disadvantage of having these weapons uh, be so inaccurate. I can tell you, uh, there's one pro tip this character. Do not buy the obliterator. Uh, do not buy it. Uh, it will not hit the enemy. It is not very strong, and all three of those projectiles will continue to miss. So there are definitely some weapons that you would think that would be good on Renegade, it just aren't, right? Like the uh, big obvious one to me is Obliterator. You're like, wow, three Obliterator shots hitting the boss. That must be awesome. Well, it's so slow uh, and they miss like 80% of the time because of the accuracy mechanic. So uh, it does not work nearly as well as you think it might, unfortunately. Um, so there are some sort of drawbacks on this build. We'll discuss that as it comes up. However, you can see the advantage is even though we didn't kill the elite super fast, we have such amazing clear that we did not get overwhelmed. We kept everything clear uh, and we really were the renegade for time and age. Love a heavy bullets, like a dangerous bunny. For free, I'll take a warrior summon. We'll take a little bit of range damage. Have enough harvesting where we will get some value out of this crown and do it like that Cyclops worm as well. Um, do like claw tree. Again, every white item we don't have gives us just a little bit more percent damage, uh, including that lumberjack shirt. Do we have a baby elephant? Um, I, I do not think so. We do. So we do not need that. Uh, we can consider the pocket factory, but pocket factory does give us um, some clear, but I think we're fine on that. So now I'll quickly talk about the pocket factory. I've had a couple people uh, ask me about it. What do I think? Things like that. I love pocket factory as an item. Uh, it is actually doing one of the things that I really think this uh, game needed, which it's giving us more of an excuse to sort of um, softly segue into different builds, right? Because previously in Brotato, if I'm playing like Ranger or uh, an elemental character or something like that, I essentially have no incentive to pick up any engineering. And it's not really a good system in my opinion. I think the game should encourage hybrid play styles. 
and things like um pocket factory are good enough where it's like hey i may not be an engineer but if i see it i'll pick it up maybe grab a couple engineering points get some turrets in the map so i really do like it as an item i think it's a lot of fun it is overpowered on engineer as well as explore there's no two ways about that so it is a little strong on those two characters specifically i do not think it is overpowered on the other characters and i think it encourages a lot of diverse playthroughs so i do hope uh it is unchanged for the most part although again it does completely go nuts on uh those two characters in particular which is something to think about so sharp bullets one of the unique the new uniques in the game it is very very strong um i am not sure how strong it is on this character obviously we do so much piercing damage already reducing that by 20 percent with our damage penalties i don't really love it we'll take it now just because we are still figuring things out uh, with the improved tools i really wish i would have taken that pocket factory but such uh is life um do like a silver bullet and we'll go ahead and do an smg combine but again i haven't quite decided if uh Sharp bullets are like good on most uh, on most sort of renegade builds, but for now we'll play it out. Does make all your projectiles pierce once more, which is a good thing. Uh, plus damage is at a premium. And since we already do our, uh, so much piercing damage as is, we really want to reduce that. Again, I don't know, right? Like I, I haven't decided if it's worth uh, playing with or not, but just know like I'm sort of thinking about it. Uh, overall, I do think that uh, sharp bullets is a very, very good item uh, on many range characters. So it's a very powerful uh, item indeed and what i'm excited to play with i think it's going to open up a lot of build diversity and i really like the sharp bullets because it helps out a lot of weapons in rotato that i think could use a little bit of help um you know it just gives you a way to sort of make normal ranged weapons you know have enough clear where you can stand some of the challenges with like bad rng uh, and i don't think it's gonna be good enough where it's gonna like carry you like run it's basically like a worse bandana truthfully and bandana is one of the best items in the game um but it's hard to find because it's obviously a uh, epic or tier three item so a little bit of my initial thoughts on that but really am enjoying the new patch all new characters will be of course getting some playthroughs up with all new characters i do plan to get them out pretty quickly so i will be sort of uploading a lot of content in the days to come already had weird ghosts so do not need another one um we have not armor so i'll take the attack speed i believe we do already have a lens uh at this point we'll go ahead and take that pencil uh, getting us down negative 16 percent damage already have a scar i believe so don't need any of these uh do like a tentacle truthfully just a good item at this point in the game um I guess I'll take a duck for a little bit of luck and really happy uh, to get an SMG. Our weapons feel a little weak, truthfully. So I do like that. Do like an alloy. Uh, the only thing that kind of is, is a little bit uh, sort of fun in this character is like constantly looking through all your white items and see, hey, do we get a, um, you know, whatever that white item we might be missing is. And so I do not think we have a bat and we do not. So we got that down negative 14. And do we have a cyber ball? Doesn't look like we do, although I could have sworn we did have one. All right, doesn't look like we do. So yeah, we're going to wave 15, which is another elite. Uh, we are fighting this uh, bat out of hell, as I will be calling it. It does not have an official name, or if it does, I don't know what it is, uh, but this is the bat out of hell, and we are doing decent damage. Although we are definitely feeling that, again, accuracy penalty, which is, I think, sort of a hallmark of this character, but, you know, taking it out without too much. But again, with less projectiles, like on just a normal build, we probably would have taken that character out if we're playing like Ranger in like half that time. So, you know, just positive and negatives of each build but not too much of a trouble uh too much trouble as we take out the bat out of hell as i will in fact call it but you can see just insane aoe damage look at all the projectiles that is what i like to see uh three rockets per rocket launcher if that doesn't get you excited i don't know what will but we'll see if we're going to continue to develop this as i think we're off to a pretty strong run here just showing how this character can kind of uh annihilate things and we've gotten this character power for enough again percent damage only at negative 14 um Feeling pretty good here. Right, can we take out that looter? We can. I'm packing in some pretty good materials as well. For free, love a regen potion considering we've got the uh, um, fairy there. And I am looking for a little bit more offense. Um, we'll take a touch of harvesting um, as well. So do not have a cyber bolt. So really happy to see that. Like an owlet, like a wheat. All things we really need. Like another wheat. Uh, again, give me all the wheats. Uh, this SMG is technically an upgrade, so I will uh, take it. And we can see here, the nice thing about the fairy is it lets you know how many white items you have. We currently have 31 different white items. And we're not done buying those yet. Almost up to even damage. We are at negative 12 percent. One other kind of edge mechanic to think about. Again, I didn't go out of my way to do this, but just sort of how it developed. You could make an argument that it's good on this character to hold off on luck uh, towards the first, you know, two thirds of the game in order to maximize your chances of seeing white items. It's definitely an interesting thought uh, in the sense that we want a lot of white items early, so we can get rid of that damage penalty. So, is it worth? um not not taking luck to maximize that i think potentially again i don't think this character operates on that fine of a knife's edge where we have to worry about that too much 
truthfully this character can win i'd say most runs this is a uh i'd say one of the more powerful characters even if it does have a glaring weakness and elite kill speed it is a relatively powerful character so i don't think it needs you know that level of precision when building it out but it is an interesting sort of edge case to think about but yeah man renegades tom morello you know lead singer of uh Razor Man's machines they would be very happy Again, that percent damage doesn't do a lot, so we'll pass. We'll take that range damage, like an SMG, like this weep. And uh, we don't really have any upgrades here. We're gonna dunk the SMG and grab one more. Um, too late in the game, really, to get a ton of value out of that Peacock. Uh, don't really wanna do that spread upgrade. Stone Skin, uh, one of the unique items added from the Golem character. One max HP for every uh, nine armor you have. Not my favorite item. We are actually low on max HP, so we'll pick that up and hope that we can scale it a bit. Keep getting white shredders, so should have potentially taken them. I do think we have um, a plank already, or a, a plant already. I'll do one more reroll because I'm kind of hungry for some more items. Don't really love any of these, even the um, revolver there. So we are fighting. I don't know what this is called. Uh, it's sort of like a giant floating alien ghost. So maybe ghost alien is what I'll call it for the moment. Uh, it does sort of fire these projectiles out here. Key thing with these like movement patterns, these circle movement patterns, circle movement patterns is move towards them. Uh, they're definitely designed, those circles, you saw them kind of following us. Those circle patterns are definitely designed to trap you by trying to run away. So they usually, not always, are moving away from the boss. Uh, and the way those will get you is the circle will spawn. Uh, like say that mines the circle and you'll attempt to move away from it, but it'll also be moving away for it. So you do kind of want to just run through those towards the boss and you should be able to dodge that attack pattern without too much of an issue. However, it is challenging at first. Um, the hardest elite is definitely whatever the Dragon Head Elite is, the new elite. That is a tough one. So um, I, we, were, we were past all the, all the elites in this game, but man, that Dragon Head Elite, Lizard Head Elite is, is a toughie. So we'll see. Uh, I'm sure we'll counter that in the video at some point. Love an explosive turret, truthfully. We got a little bit of explosive damage. We have OK Engineering 6. It'll contribute to the party. Um, I guess we'll take that percent damage, which again, is modified and we got the gatling laser let's go oh man the legendary weapon we can show this off uh i'm excited this is so hard to find this is one of the new weapons uh in the game one of two legendary weapons the other being excalibur we are in for a treat uh we have two weapons to go ahead and pick that up an absolutely insane weapon Brotato did add two legendary weapons to the game and the most recent patch um and one of them is the gatling gun which is the legendary range weapon only available in uh red or tier four rarity uh tier four rarity and there is the uh, excalibur which is unlocked by clearing around with knight um which is a very powerful weapon as well it scales off your health could be really interesting for endless mode um both of those weapons are legendary and they're very 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 good um so we're gonna go ahead and show that off as well have not actually had a chance to play with excalibur yet but um, they did have these two legendary weapons. They have some severe penalties. But what is a renegade of our time and age uh, without that Gatling gun? I don't even know if it will be good, truthfully. I, I do not know if it will be good on this character. But we're going to... Yeah, we're going to find... You don't, you don't see the Gatling gun when you're recording a YouTube video on Bertato and not pick it up, right? How could we do that? So this is going to be... Oh, no, this is going to work bad with the golem skin. Um, we only have one more wave, so I'll go ahead and recycle that. Oh, uh, we're we're in for uh, we're in for it here. So I will take this match piece. Of what's going to happen? So we are going to take this Gatling gun. Uh, we will go ahead and recycle the rocket launcher and try this puppy out. So that's going to be a ton of fun. Max out that shredder. Take another hedgehog. Uh, and we are about to show off the Gatling gun. I may be the first person having a YouTube video that shows off this Gatling gun. So uh, this is going to be a ton of fun. And we actually have two waves to show it off here. And you can just see. Look at that. Just shooting these crazy. Uh, spray of like awesome bullets here uh, and we get it on uh, Renegade you know which is absolutely is hilarious but you can see really strong attack pattern uh, really fast attack speed 35 times 3 cooldown 0 0.007 seconds we'll look at that weapon just a little bit more um, after this because I know most of you probably haven't seen it but very very powerful weapon uh, and just absolutely destroying uh destroying everything so that was pretty cool to see uh haven't i actually really haven't had a chance to play with i've only gotten it once so uh, it's very very rare to find the legendary weapons they added are really really tough uh real quick wave 19 segue if you could do me a solid hit that subscribe button uh i would really really appreciate that still a new youtuber here and we're having a lot of fun a lot of quick channel growth in addition if you do me a solid and toss me a follow on twitch if you do use that platform i'll likely be doing some streaming there soon thank you and i appreciate you everybody who watches this channel
Now, back to the Gatling gun, absolutely spraying things down. Oh, wow. It's cool to see. And it looks cool. Look at that. It looks like a freaking, like, moon laser. Uh, free scared sausage. I love it like that speed. So, we'll look quickly at this Gatling gun. You can see 36 times 3, um, which would be absolutely insanely powerful if we didn't have that, uh, you know, penalty there. Um, times 3 critical, which is important. A really good knockback. 5 piercing, and we currently have, I believe, 2 from our sharp bullets as well as our renegade character. So, pierces quite a bit. Uh, so, really, really powerful fun weapon uh it's just really really strong do you like a tentacle and do you like a ritual as well i don't believe we have an insanity we'll pass on that for the moment but a very very good uh weapon nice thing about things like small magazine is the percent damage penalty is only the third so it's not quite as arduous uh to take something like that don't really need any of these uh when we'll go ahead and head here into wave 20 uh with our gatling gun and we have a really powerful character here we'll evaluate all these sort of weapons uh that we do have but we'll see with our Gatling gun tearing up the bosses. Look at that. Again, this is not a strong uh, wave killing character, but if we did have a sort of more standard ranger, we would see this absolutely annihilating. Um, so feeling pretty good. Almost perfected the bosses there. Did just take our first hit and immediately took our second hit. But I kind of want to drag this out uh, to watch this Gatling gun destroy things. Uh, that's fun to see. But there it is. The new Gatling gun. One of two legendary weapons in Brotato. Nice clean victory there. Uh, love to see it again just showing how we can turn the renegade into a cool uh character that is able to overcome its disadvantages the wave clearing monster that it is quick summary here 32 unique white items there each given two percent damage about kind of showing how we i uh, got this damage penalty um through you know w w uh, back to close to neutral there but really good uh run there ton of hp regen with that regen potion we were never dying and of course this awesome gatling gun you can see here real quick i'll quickly point out that legendary tag you know, gives you a pretty significant HP penalty if you have multiple uh, of them. Anyway, ton of fun as always. Uh, thanks for watching and take care.